Welcome to the tutorial, I'm Vaden Designer. In this video, I will show you how you can style your designs by using Lumo variables. I have a basic form here with a header, some fields, and then a button. So first, I want to create some space around the fields. So I'm going to take the form layout here and edit its style property. I can do margin two pixels, and that works. But a better way is to use some of the variables that come with the Lumo theme. So let's go to Lumo documentation, which is available through vadin.com slash themes. So there's the spacing here and a variable called Lumo space. And I think I'll take the medium size. So I'll just copy this one here. And I can just use that instead of the pixel value. Okay, it looks pretty much the same. But the real power comes when I can use the same exact variable here as well. So let's say I do margin right. Now the same size is used in both places. So next I want to make this header pop a bit more. So I take the div and again I can just take the background color and change it to green. Okay, not the greatest color. So let's take something from the Lumo theme. So the primary color is defined here as Lumo primary color. So let's just take that one and use that instead of green. Awesome. And next I'll just change the text color as well with a Lumo primary contrast color. All right, that looks pretty good. And uh, so far we've only used the variables. So let's see what happens when we start redefining them. Lumo primary color, and let's say this is red. Let's see what happens. Okay, so, so we use the primary color here, but the button also uses it since it's a primary color or, or a primary button. So that changed automatically. So that's the real power of using Lumo variables is that you get great defaults out of the box but then you can also easily customize them later for example in a global style sheet all right that's all i had today thank you for watching